again to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie the SF minnow and this is just a general little bait fish or minnow pattern. The hook I'm using is the Partridge Attitude Extra in a size 1 and this hook has this quite short shank and also quite wide gape, pretty heavy wire, works well for all kinds of streamers. Then for the materials, for the back and the tail of the fly, we're going to use some SF fiber. And these are these really long fibers, crinkled fibers. And I'm going to show you how we're going to build up some bulk using this. For the tail of the fly and to support a little bit here at the back, I'm going to use some bucktail. This is just some white bucktail. I'm going to use the upper part. I'm going to get some length with this. This one I'm going to tie in this green peacock color. And here I'm using some SLF prism. And this is to build up the body and to make it really nice here in the middle, in between the SF. Then for the front of the fly, I'm going to use first some laser dub and this one is in white and I'm going to use this to build up the shape just a little bit more and then I'm going to finish off the top of the wing with some ice wing fiber this one is in the color minnow back and works really well with the peacock dubbing and to finish off it all I'm going to use some ice and these are 6mm ice for this size for this one I'm going to weight this just a little bit. I'm going to use some lead free wire. This one is the 0.025. So I'm just going to make about 10 turns. And this is going to give the fly a little bit more of a jigging action. And also help it just sink down under the surface just a little bit faster. I would recommend you fish this with a sinking line, whatever you do. But this is just going to help it get down a little bit faster and just not to stay in the surface all the time. And then I'm going to start with the thread. This one is the Nano Silk Predator, and this one is a hundred denier in white. GSP works really well for all kinds of streamers. Then for the back, I've cut off a little piece or a few strands of a white bucktail, and I'm going to tie this in about one and a half the length of the shank. This step is optional, you could also just use the SF fibers, so just like to add a little bit of natural materials and I think it makes quite a nice base here for the fly. So tie this in, cut off the ends and then I'm going to go back right to the start of the tail. And here we're going to start with the SF or Steve Farrar blend. And these are really crinkly fibers. So they're going to build up a whole lot of bulk without using so many of these fibers. I'm going to take just a small amount, fold it in two. Like one half of four time and then if you can see this I'm going to taper the ends and tapering this is really useful as it's going to give a more natural shape to your fly and then I'm going to tie this in about 50-50 50, 50, 50 pointing towards the back and 50 towards the front And these fibers are then going to blend in nicely with the bucktail. I'm then going to 
fold over and spread this out just a little bit make a few turns right over next part is building up the body and here you can choose any kind of color that you like I'm going with this peacock green and this one is some SLF prism I'm just going to dub it on to the thread and here you don't have to be too precise the important thing is to build up quite a generous body as we're going to brush this out and I'm going to go up to about the half point and then with your dubbing brush we can brush this out and this is going to make a quite translucent body I'm going to give it just a little bit of length and also blend in with the other fibers now we can take the second half of this SF or these SF fibers we're going to taper these as well I always want the ends to be uneven and here we're going to tie this in about in the middle as well so a few turns and then push it back and spread it out just a little bit make a few turns and here we can see that the wing or the back is starting to take shape just going to cover up this wire a little bit more and then just to repeat the previous step I'm going to take a little bit more of this dubbing and here we're going to do exactly the same dub it onto the thread and then dub quite a generous body and also this time we're going to brush this out make sure that you really brush these fibers out and you will get a really nice shape on your fly now I'm taking just a little bit more of these SF fibers and I'm going to cut this in half as well and as always taper the ends so you don't get a cut off fly we're then going to shape this with the scissors so we don't have to worry too much but in the middle this time as well a few hard turns make sure that you push it back and spread it out just a little bit and these SF fibers are quite slippery and the thread as well so make sure that you get a good grip on it there we go now we have the back finished it's maybe a little bit difficult to see but now you can see that this remains quite translucent but we have some bulk as well which is building up just due to these really crinkled or wave formed fibers then a little bit more of the dubbing and this is just to cover up the ends and to make a nice little finish of the body a few turns throw the dubbing back we're going to brush this out as well in with the rest of the body and here for the last part you could also add in a contrasting color representing the gills if you would like to put in a little bit of red or pink or orange next I'm going to take some laser dub in white and laser dub is just this really nice material that you can use for 
a lot of things. One of them is to build up heads on flies and to give it a little bit of length. So here I've taken just a really small pinch, I've teared the fibers about in half or in a quarter. And this is then going to be for the underside. I want this to be a little bit shorter than the top. So just tie this in right in the middle. Then for the top I'm also taking a really small amount and this time I'm just going to separate the fibers and stack them back again. This is going to align all these fibers really nicely and then in the middle tie this down, draw all the dubbing back make a few quite heavy nice turns and here I see we trapped the underside just a little bit you don't want to go over the fibers you just want to or over the dubbing you just want to stay right in front pushing the fibers or the dubbing back with your thread and not binding it down and then the last part of the tying is to put the last part of the wing and this is some ice wing fiber in the color minnow back and this one I've also taken just a few fibers I'm going to cut these in two as well leave the half on the side for the next fly and I'm going to put in taper for these as well and as for the other materials I'm going to tie this in right in the middle so 50 pointing towards the front and 50 towards the back then spreading this out a few heavy turns right in front see if everything looks alright and then draw everything back and we'll put in a whip finish pull tight, cut off your thread and here for this part the tapering I like to take it out of the vise and here you can see that we have a little bit too much or too many fibers here in the middle part and I also think it's just a little bit too long so I'm going to come in from the back starting to shape this fly and here the key is to know when to stop and not cut off too many of these fibers you want to have a nice taper going right here to the back with just a few fibers extending here right to the end so I'm happy with the shape next thing to do is to put it back in the vise and now we're going to apply some ice and here I'm using some 6mm ice in black and orange for this one and the best sort of glue to use is a gel type the gel is then going to stay right here on top of the materials and not soak in too much so you will get a nice bond to the ice and not just glue all your fibers and dubbing here right in the middle so what I do is to put just a tiny drop in the middle of the eye and then starting on my side I'm going to put this down just with the front of the eye coming right up to the eye of the hook and here you have to be a little bit 
quick to do the second one. Exactly the same thing. And here with the rotor revised, it's really easy to get this placed right. And then hold these a few seconds. Make sure they're set right. Then once the eyes are set, we can start working with building up the shape of the head or just filling in these two little gaps we have here in between the eyes. So here a little bit of optional things. We're going to start with some loon fluorescing UV resin and this one is in the flow formula. It's really really thin and I'm just going to put down a little a few drops of these in between the eyes and this is then going to help me hold everything in place. Set it with the UV torch and now I have my fibers positioned the way I want them. Now we're going to take some Deer Creek Fine Flex and this is going to make the head really really durable. So with this I'm going to fill first the top, cure it, a few seconds, then the same on the bottom. filling up this little space here in between the eyes and here it's easier to work with thin layers or a thin layer at a time instead of trying to do it in one go so here just take your time and cure everything between each thin layer that's going to make your fly really really durable and then once I filled up the space here in between what I like to do is to do a thin layer over the front of the eyes as well. This is not going to change the shape of the fly too much but it's going to help these eyes stay on just a little bit longer. So once you've filled up the two spaces and then going to just go over the front of the fly and then as I want these to be as near as perfect as possible I'm going to move around the UV resin just a little bit so you don't get any bumps on the eyes and now we have a thin layer going right around the front of the eyes as well there we have the fly finished a few other things you can do with this one is you could also do a completely unweighted version without the lead free wire here in the middle and then you will get a more hovering fly you could also change out these unweighted eyes for some dumbbell eyes some small dumbbell eyes if you want this to have a more of a jigging action and then here on the sides you could also use some lateral scale or any other kind of flash if you want to have it have these two stripes going down each side but there we have it the SF minnow here tied in a peacock version thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already see you next time and happy time